Hey guys, it's Jan, and you're watching an HID quick review video. So today I'll be doing a quick review of the Microsoft Wireless Mobile Mouse 3500 from Microsoft. That wasn't obvious enough. So I have the gray edition, and it's pretty small, pretty nice. It has a couple features that I want to point out. First of all, it's a wireless mouse, so you can work up to about 30 feet, I believe. So it's pretty versatile. It uses a AA battery on the bottom flap over here. So on the bottom there, you're able to change the AA battery with a little flap that can use that has all the uh, information about where it's made and all the toxicology stuff and all that fun stuff. So you could use use that tab to pull it out, and um, that's great. And Microsoft claims it has about eight months battery life, and you can extend the battery life because there's an on and off bottom switch here. So you don't have to keep flipping on and off. You don't have to keep taking out the battery to conserve battery life because you can just do that with the on and off switch. While it's very also on the bottom, you also have a couple features I want to mention. Like when the on button is on, you notice that the wireless LED here is blue. That be, that is because Microsoft is using their blue track technology, which enables them to use this mouse on many different surfaces, including anything that's pretty much not clear. So blankets, couches, anything that could pretty much reflect back and tell the mouse that it's moving. So we're able to use that. Anything else on the bottom? There are two grippy little rubber things here which allow it to uh, not move too fast and it's not... So it's pretty um, smooth movement so you can just swipe left, right, everything and everything is nice and clear. Also on the bottom is an eject button and the actual stowaway for the what you want eh, wireless USB dongle. So if it's pretty light, so you want to make sure when you're done, you stow it back either on your laptop or you stow it back into the bottom of the mouse. This thing is pretty easy to lose. It's really light, so I recommend keeping track of it. So on the sides, you have some nice rubbery textures here. The mouse is pretty much symmetrical, so if you're left-handed or right-handed, the mouse works for you either way. The mouse is pretty small, so I don't expect it to be used for anything to extent, like you don't want to use it as your main mouse on your desktop, but it works really well for travel because it's small, lightweight, and everything is just in that small package. Um, on the top, you have your left, your right click, and you have a um, scroll wheel. And I believe there was a feature saying magnifier, but I'm not sure if this is included with this model. Um, if you could check on initiateid.com after my review, and if it's up there, you'll be able to see if it does include that. The top, and actually around it, besides from the uh, mouse action aspect of it, there is a glossy plastic finish here, which does attract fingerprints, but since it's for travel use anyway, it's not too specific. You have the Microsoft uh, keyboard logo around here. So that's Microsoft. what Microsoft uses for the peripherals. And another Microsoft logo on the front here. So I'm Jen, and this was an Initiate ID quick review. This mouse is pretty versatile for my use because I'll be traveling a lot when I'm going home and stuff, and I don't have a mouse because my mouse is wired, and it's all wired in the back of my desk and my dorm, so this will be useful for me when I need to travel around. So thanks for watching this video, and be sure to go to Initiate ID if you want to get more in-depth information about this mouse, and I guess I can put prices from where you can find this mouse. So I'm Jen, thanks for watching.